All right, but first here, as we start on the Hill, it is a striking image. We begin tonight with a picture that was posted on social media by a congressman, David Valadeo. He's a Republican from California, and he says that right there is what happened to his district office back home. You can see there, covered in red paint, flyers posted on the front door by anti-Israel protesters. The congressman says that right there is vandalism, not peaceful protesting. He says it is unacceptable. Hello to you all. Nice to have you in. Um, you know, I, I can't help but think we've seen pro-Palestinian demonstrators shake the gates of the White House, uh, the scene at the, over at the DNC, what was that, two weeks ago? And now it's getting to the doorstep, Mick, you're, for, you're a former congressman, of a, of a former member. And it's probably going next to the doorstep of members of Congress themselves. That's extraordinarily like dangerous. Literally, like literally, at their homes, you Absolutely. Think? Most of these folks publish their address. My address was on the Internet for years. My home hmm. phone number was on the Internet for years. And people expect their members of Congress to be reachable and sort of in the district where they live. So these folks know where a lot of the members live, and the violence could get out of hand very quickly. It, it, this is horrible. It's disgusting. It's not peaceful protest. You're not allowed to vandalize. You have a right to say whatever you want. I may disagree with you, and I disagree with them vehemently here. You have absolutely no right to vandalize property, particularly uh, to threaten a member of Congress in this way. I don't like it. It's out of control. It shouldn't be going on. Plus, you're losing your credibility when you do stuff like this right. instead right. of doing peaceful protesting, which is how the pro-Israeli marches went. This is such an emotional issue for so many people. And we're getting these images of Gaza, and we get the images of the Israeli hostages coming home, and Israel certainly has a right to defend itself. I think the challenge is that when is... These protesters, many of them, not all, are protesting for peace. Even liberal Jewish groups and pro-Palestinian groups who want a ceasefire, as opposed to they're not supporting Hamas. And I think there's a thin line of demarcation there that we need to keep this in mind. But you're right, vandalism and violence is never the answer. Never. It takes away from your, your, your messaging. Right. I also wonder, remember during the Black Lives Matter marches, a lot of people, especially remember in D.C. when all of the... Um, stores were vandalized and especially down in city center and other places which is a shopping spot and they were actually people that were brought in to do that they yeah. were paid protesters mm -hmm. so i mean we haven't seen that destruction yet but i wonder how many of these people are not really protesters for the cause but for other reasons infiltrators man. yeah scott you said something caught my attention which is there's good people there uh, protesting. I've heard that line before mm -hmm. in Charlottesville. I've heard that line on January 6th. There well, were people on, from Democrats. Oh, I understand that. that, but there was people on January 6th who were peacefully protesting. Mm -hmm. That's not what the story was about. There were people in Charlottesville who were peacefully pro protesting. That's not what the story is about. If you're at one of these rallies and it gets out of hand, you should leave or else you're yeah. going to be painted with the same brush that the folks yeah. who are, are yeah. misbehaving. And I All think right. the people who are involved with this movement should be out there condemning the violence themselves. Absolutely. Because like we said multiple times here, it weakens the message. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.